Hi, my name is Rick. Uh, I'm Rick0313 on IMVU, and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to make an animated avatar sticker. First, you need something with a plain background. It makes it a whole bunch easier. So I just brought this into a room I had, and what you want to do from here is just hit your print screen or screenshot. It's a, usually along where your F keys are, your F1 through 12. You'll find print screen or something like that. So I'm going to just click print screen, and I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to open up Paint. Paint comes free on Vista and XP. I know that. Okay, I'm going to open that up. And what I'm going to do now is click Edit, Paste. Now I'm going to click this little dotted box here, and this bottom colored box is here. Okay, I'll open this back up for you. Now what this is going to do is bring that picture in. Now if you take this cross and you come across this way down to where you want it, and once you you're using a left click to do this once you get that you right click inside the box it'll say copy to okay I already tried this so I have a few copies you can save it to pictures or wherever you want okay now you want to minimize this open your room back up okay I got a different pose already you can buy poses use the regular poses it doesn't matter do the same thing print screen minimize now you open paint back up it looks like you still have the same one here well if you go back to edit click paste again well, it looks like I have the same picture so I'm going okay let's see if we can find a different picture here open up oh there's one print screen minimize open paint edit paste okay now there's my second picture now you already clicked on those things so if you look you go back up and you click. Oh, let's minimize this so I can show you. You click back on this box one more time. Okay. Open it up. You got your cross. Same thing. You want to try to get these pictures close to identical sizing as possible. Okay. Right click. Copy to. Copy to where you want to save it. Okay. That's done. Now you can close this. And if it says Do you want to save changes, just click no. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now we want to open GIMP. Okay. We got GIMP open. Now we want to click File, Open. Now I'm going to use ones I've had before, so it's M1. Save it to some place you can find it, name it something you want. Okay. Another thing is, I checked these pictures, if I can find them one more time here. And I'm going to my pictures. And if I, you notice, this first one is 166 by 468. Okay, the second picture I'm going to be using is 157 by 481. Well, the bottom one, the first number is smaller, 157, the other one is 166. You always want to bring your picture down. If you go up, what it does is stretch the pixels out and you get hazy and it looks garbagey. But the second picture here, the second number is 468, which this one is 481. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the 157, which is the first number here, and the 468, which is the second number here. So that way you'll be able to resize them the way you want. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, if I go and again, is click on this little box. Okay, if you double click it, you'll see it has a couple numbers in here. Now, you can change this number. The higher it is, the more it's going to come out. But if you start a little lower and work your way up, it comes out a lot better. Okay, so I got it at 26, and that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to close it and move this back out of the way. Click Layers. Come down to Transparencies. You see the Alpha Channel. Click on that. Click on the green. Now you'll see this comes all the way around here. Click Edit. It comes down to Clear. Click Clear. Okay, that takes it all back out. Now what you want to do is sometimes you'll get the haze, what I call it, the green haze or whatever color background you're using. Click on the eraser and you can just go all the way around the picture. You can do this on any picture really. And just erase it. I'm just going to do it real quick to show you how to get rid of this thing. Okay, good enough. Now click images, click scale. Now, you see these change? You got to click on that, that'll break them. Now you can change your setting here. It is 157 and, and 468. Okay, click scale. 
Okay, that one's done. Now you bring back file, open. I'm going to use M2, open. Okay, I got the same thing. And this is what you want to do, the same thing. Make sure, if I can find GIMP again, click on this box, make sure that's highlighted. Go back into layers, transparency, oops, wrong one. There it is. Layers, transparency, alpha channel, click, edit, clear, then again go back to your eraser and get rid of all these. If you have a haze, this will take it out. Okay. Now, what you want to do next is I use the old GIMP because I like it a lot better than the new one, but they all work pretty much the same way. Find your layer, click on a layer. What you'll see is, let me get this out of the way. Okay, you'll see this little box come up. Now, because the video's running, this is giving me a little problem, but I know a way around it. So, what I'm going to do is take this, and usually this will work with the video not running. It will. You take this, drop it right there, let go, and it'll drop right in its place. Okay. Okay. Now, basically, I had I brought it in a different way. What I did on mine because it wasn't working. I clicked file. I saved it just like I took it out and I just brought it in as open as layer and it dropped it right on place but you don't have to worry about that. Um, then you want to click file go down to save as. Now you can save this you'll see this open up. Now this will say it usually coming out of uh, paint it'll open as a bitmap. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this to 222. It doesn't matter. Extension come down and click GIMP image then click save well, this box will come up next click save as animation export next box that comes up is this now here you want to click on here come down to one layer now the higher number here it's going to move slower so I'm just going to go 250 to show you that this thing's going to move click OK now it just exported it now if I can find where it exported it to, uh, pictures, where are my pictures, my pictures, there it is, okay, I'm going to find it, 221, here it is, I'm going to click on that, see how fast that's moving, that's no good, so just close that, and right click, delete, okay, yes, okay, what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to click on this again, and save the same thing, just save as, and you'll notice this is all still here, just click save, here again you want to save animation, export. And here where the 250 was, I'm going to change that to let's say 750. Okay, click OK. I'm going to open it back up and see what it looks like if I can find it. Ah, there we are down the bottom. I'm going to double click it. Now you'll see it slowed down a lot. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, feel free if you have any major questions to give me a call. Um, at my home page leaving a message and I'll see if I can guide you in the right direction it's do it a couple times for yourself just playing around and see how it looks and uh, have fun okay thank you and have a great day